Hello ladies, so I'm here to show you real quick about um, the presets that I gave you guys and we are going to use Steve Blues and some of the things that I want you guys to keep in mind is that Steve Blues is meant for something that you underexpose so um, at the beach when you want to underexpose and keep all the details um, this is for that. Um, this is especially for the beach because there's a lot of blue and this um, preset is called Steve's Blues for that same reason. Um, I shoot a lot at the beach, so I wanted to um, put two of my favorite things, which is my husband um, and the ocean. So I that's why I named it after my husband, Steve Blues. And um, so I love this. So I just want to show you guys how I use this real quick, and then um, I'm gonna use you guys. I'm gonna use you guys. <laughs> Not using you guys. I'm gonna um, show you guys just how I edit um, this image. And um, yep. Here we go. So I'm just going to go ahead. The first thing you do is just select the image you want. Click Steve Blues. And this is what get, what it gives me. Um, it's still too dark for me. I normally, uh, I would add, start at the exposure. Just a little bit of exposure. And when I say a little bit, I mean like 10, 15. I don't mean like over 20. No, that's just way too much. Um, if I need a little bit more of the shadows that I still have, I bring them up just a tiny bit more. It's it's still you know there's a lot of uh, a lot of lighting and not a lot of lighting. If it, if your image was dark, um, bring up your shadows a little bit more. It just depends on how dark your image is. You're gonna either bring it down or uh, if it's too bright, um, bring it down. If it's too dark, pull it up. And then your whites would still be the same. I'm gonna bring down, you can tell how much of a difference that makes. Um, I'm gonna actually keep my whites where they were. So I'm gonna bring my blacks down a little bit more. And that's it for that part, that's it. And now I'm just gonna use the coloring part. Um, and for your skin tones, it looks a little too orange. Or if you wanna brighten it up, uh, make sure you uh, use luminance to do that. And you can tell here bring it up pull it up a little um just by using luminance how much it does it's a beautiful preset you guys will love it i promise once you get the hang of it you'll be loving this preset so add this and i'm gonna add a little bit of color maybe four there you go i still want the red to be a little bit out there and add some color to that and so for the blue uh you can either you know use depending on how you like it how you like um where what what looks good and what doesn't look good um so here you go so here's the blue i use this one as well just to even out that like lighter parts um i don't add color to the blue already because it's just way too much blue but um from here come to the yellow part and then you can see oh not oh click the orange the yellow part and you can see here and I'm gonna add a little bit more of that color out here and I think we're good I'm just gonna leave it like from here and then from here I take it to Photoshop, which I do the rest of my editing, and the image turns out looking more like this. I did use, however, I did use the um, soft skin. So how I did that is I transferred this one to um, Photoshop, save it, and then um, when I come back to this one, it'll tell me there were some changes made. If I wanted to bring those changes to this, to Lightroom, I say yes, and um, I, I apply my new um, my new uh, preset, which is soft skin, and it'll make everything softer. And I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys one more, which is this one. Um, I immediately have to change the way this image looks, how it's set, make it more straight, and then the preset. It, and this one's a little too overexposed, so like I said, Every image will be different. On some, you might need to bring, you know, the your highlights down. Use more of your dark tones. Whatever it is that you need to do, it just you just have to play around with it. This preset, it's pretty awesome. It should help you a lot once you already know how to use it.
And then that red, let's make it a little darker. Blue. Put those blues in there. So there you go. There you guys have it. Um, it just everybody has different likings. So however you decide to do it, and however you want to do it, it's there for you. And I just want to show you guys the before and after on both of them. It makes a big difference. There you go. Thank you guys so much for watching and um, let me know how it goes. Send me some before and afters or if there's a problem that you run into. Um, please message me if I can respond to you right there and then I will. If I can't, I will get back to you as soon as I can. Okay? See you guys. Talk to you soon.